happening everybody? Texas Man here. I hope you guys are all having a fantastic day. Make sure you guys give this video a thumbs up if you guys really enjoy it. Subscribe if you guys have not already. Also do me the biggest favor of all, hit that bell notification button so you guys don't miss out on future videos or streams here on my channel. Also make sure to head over to Twitch and follow me there at Douglas447. I stream there at least once a week, whether it be for Call of Duty, Call of Duty Battlefield, Halo, Destiny 2, or anything else you guys suggest for me to stream over there. And uh, if you guys have any movies you guys want me to watch and review here on the channel, please let me know in the comments section down below. And we're going to be talking about 20,000 Leagues Under the Sea. And honestly, guys, this is a gem that I think a lot of people have forgotten. This is a movie that I think a lot of people forget exists, unless they're going through their library. They're like, ah, oh, I remember that. Let's watch it. And, of course, this movie came out in 1954. It is rated G. It's about two hours and seven minutes long. Um, you guys actually can watch this on Disney Plus for free. If you have Disney Plus um, subscription, you guys can just go into the search bar and it's, and it's there. So if you guys don't have this on DVD or Blu-ray, I encourage you guys to check it out on Disney Plus if you do have that. And this is just one of the greatest sci-fi family action adventure movies of all time. I grew up watching Disney classics like this. And of course, like things like Swiss Family Robinson. And somewhere downstairs, I have 20,000 Leagues Under the Sea on VHS. And I remember watching this movie. I know I'm dating myself with technology. <laughs> I remember watching this movie on VHS. And I was just, I was blown away when I watched this when I was like 11 or 12. I was just like, this is awesome. And I wish a lot more movies today you know, in the 2020s at the time of recording this video, I wish more movies were like this, where it's just, it's fun. And it's not delivering religious propaganda. It's not dealing with politics or pushing, you know, gay rights, Black Lives Matter, transgender and all that. I'm like, why can't we get more movies like this? Why can't we? And I'll tell you why. Because we live in a completely different society. 50 years ago, we didn't have to deal with any of this stuff. I grew up watching these classics. This is an amazing film. Kirk Douglas is acting. James Mason is amazing as Captain Nemo. Stellar acting. They do a fantastic job in their roles. The film explores the Nautilus submarine and the crew and the captain in such grand fabulous detail you get pulled in you are sucked in into this world within the first five minutes sometimes even sooner if it's your first viewing the extremely limited usage of the cgi shows nearly 95 percent of this movie is actual sets it's actual stunts so what's happening on screen 95 percent of the time it's really there it really does exist in real life somewhere the concept of a gigantic sea monster attacking ships in the Pacific just gives you horror-like vibes. Like, oh no, you know, we've never seen a submarine before. And the Nautilus at the time was the first of its kind. And then once the truth is revealed that the monster that's attacking all these ships is actually just a submarine, it's cool. And then we get introduced to Captain Nemo. And the drama-like adventure begins with, you know, natives and the squid monster attack and dealing with, you know, how do they supply power to the submarine? What do they eat? What are their, you know, fun activities that they do? Which is primarily playing the piano. <laughs> but it's just a visual, entertaining, grand masterpiece of a movie that everybody can enjoy. And no matter how young or how old you are, you're always going to have a fun time watching this again and again and again. Watching this movie constantly, multiple viewings of this movie, is just always a treat to the eyes. Even the dark tones that are in this movie mesh well with what is offered in this film as far as humor. The dark tones and the humor are just placed perfectly into the plot. This film also has a really famous quote, and if you haven't seen the movie, you don't know where this is from, but if you guys have seen the movie constantly like me you know exactly where this quote comes from in the movie and this is from captain nemo and he says i am not what's called a civilized man professor i have done with society for reasons that seem good to me 
Therefore, I do not obey its laws. Um, a couple of negatives that I do want to discuss is that there's been a lot of people that say that this movie, the 1954 version, is not 100% accurate to the book source material. And you know what? I can tell. But you know what? I don't care. <laughs> really don't care because I grew up watching this movie and I love it. Um, another negative I want to discuss is that the battle with the squid, I feel like it feels too long. And eventually, when I was watching this movie for the review, I got bored. I was just like, okay, this is not exciting. It's not entertaining. The musical score is outstanding. The color palette in this film is beautiful. It has so many different contrasts with different colors. And it's just amazing. Lastly, the movie is also thought-provoking. Like I said, we don't get a lot of movies that are entertaining. They're, they're more dealing with all this other stuff that we have to deal with in society. And it's nice and refreshing to just watch a movie, but it also gives you questions. This movie is very thought-provoking. And the biggest one that stands out is with technology. And for a film that came out in 1954, I think the message that is in this movie still applies to what's going on today. I mean, a 50-plus-year-old movie, it's like 50, it'll be 70 years by the time you watch this review, 50, 70 years plus. This movie deals with technology and how it can turn the best of us into the worst of us. How technology, we think we're using it for the greater good in our own minds. We're the heroes of our own story. But to the rest of society, to the rest of the world, the technology that we have at our disposal can turn heroes into villains. And even with me watching this movie, guys, and having to shut off my inner childhood, which was extremely hard, and having to watch it and review it and see if it holds up to the standards of me being a critic now, you know, two decades later, is this movie still good? Is this a gem that is still worth talking about? Is it a film that is still something that a lot of people, both young and old, should and can still enjoy? And the answer to all those questions is at 100% yes. With that, guys, I'm going to give 2,000 Leagues from Under the Sea from 1954 a 9.5 out of 10. Like I said, of course, you guys can get this on DVD, Blu-ray, VHS if you still haven't upgraded for whatever reason and of course you guys can watch this for free on your disney plus subscription i hope you guys all enjoyed the review you guys have a great day i'll see you guys in the next review or stream here or on twitch and you guys have a great day bye guys